What's up? <clears throat> Whoa. What's up, guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on in and start checking out this new tool from Steel, the Steel SEA20. Now this is going to be in their AS battery system. So that is going to be this little battery here. Now I've also done a video using this battery on a mini chainsaw, handheld chainsaw, and also a mini trimmer. So I'll make sure to leave those down in the description below if you wanna check out what else uses this battery. But what this is going to be is this is going to be a small handheld vacuum. So this is a sweet little tool to have around. Um, it is going to be very lightweight at 2.9 pounds. It is going to have a dual filtration system and canister here at the front. So to get into that, we're simply gonna push down here on this top lever, pull forward, take that canister off. Then we can take off one filter by twisting right here. And then we have an inner filter that pulls out just like that. So double filter system on that, that is on a twist lock system to make sure to keep that in place. Then we're also gonna have this really nice ceiling ring around the edge here to make sure that dust stays in that canister where it's supposed to. Now to go back on, you wanna start by putting the bottom lip back onto that canister, getting it lined up and then making sure it snaps into place. Now, the nice thing about this unit is not only that it is a little compact vacuum that you can use in all sorts of places like your home, your vehicle, your garage, which we are going to use it around the shop here in a few places just to see how well it works. And then at the end, we'll also do a battery time test with a fully charged battery. But whenever you get this kit, this is everything that is going to come in the kit. So you are going to get, of course, the unit itself. You are going to get a crevice cleaning tool. You are going to get a floor cleaning tool. This is going to have a removable brush on it. So right here, you can simply remove this brush. All you have to do is push down here on this tab and then slide that brush off so you can use it brushless or with the brush on it. You're also going to get an extendable tube here, hose. So if you're using that, say in your vehicle, you can set this down and then you can also lock this into place. It is on a trigger, but you can lock it into place so it can run without you holding it. So then you can have that extendable hose to use. You're also going to have this extension pipe that it comes with that will come of course with an operator manual, the charger, and one battery and then a nice carrying case to fit it all inside so also when we get done i'll make sure to bundle this all up show you how it fits nice here in the sack that it comes with so i'm going to go ahead and put the battery on fire this thing up let you hear how it sounds so here's just with holding the trigger pretty quiet you can definitely feel the air coming out of the sides. Now, one thing that I wanna point out is not only do you have that double filtration system, but one thing that you also have is right here, when we look dead center down the nozzle, you are going to have a dust flap there. So if I have it open here, that dust flap is closed. When I go to start using it, that opens up. And when I let off, that's going to close that dust flap and that's going to help keep that debris once again inside the canister here. Now, like I said before, we do have this button on top that's going to lock that into place. So if I'm going to want to use this without holding it the whole time, I can pull the trigger, push the button on top. I can set that down. If I have my hoses on, now I can use it with those on. And then to let that loose, I simply pull the trigger right there. Now, if I want to check my battery life, right here on the side, we're going to have this button here that we can push. That's going to light up, show you how many bars of battery this machine has. Right now, of course, we are on a full charge, so we are good to go. And then other than that, that's about all of the features this machine has. So now let's just go ahead, take this thing around, use it in a couple different areas, see how well it works.
Now, obviously that was just a small sample size of what you can do with this machine. But what we did there is we only used about one bar of battery and we've got a pretty full container here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off, dump it out here on the table, kind of give you an idea of what size stuff this is gonna pick up. And then we'll test that battery. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. Wow. Now, a couple of things about this, I don't wanna to get too crazy because I know there are some stickers in here, but as you can see, not only are we picking up dust, grass, grass seed, we've got some pretty decent sized little rocks in here. And then on our filter here, we'll go ahead and twist this off, see what it looks like, give it a bang there, see just how much dust comes off of there. Wow. Now, that right there got the outer filter really clean. We'll go ahead and pull out the inner filter here. And we have just a little bit left inside there that made it through the grates. But there is our inner filter. We'll go ahead and give it a couple of taps. Now, good thing about these inner filters is you can buy replacements for these. Of course, you can buy replacement outer filters. So if you wanted to keep an extra one of these on hand, that would be a good idea, but you can blow these out. Just make sure that you are being careful to not to damage any of those fins. So we'll go ahead and pop this back together. We'll go back on with our filter, back on with our unit and clean up our mess. All right, so now it's time for the battery test. Now on this unit with a fully charged battery, like we have here, we are supposed to get a 14 minute continuous runtime on this machine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull down the trigger, hit our lock button to lock that in, let this thing go, then we will start our stopwatch here and just see what kind of runtime we get. So let's go ahead and do that now. Go ahead and start it up. Start the time. Lock it down and let it go. All right, so we've stopped. Now, our battery there is blinking. So what the battery with one bar blinking is supposed to mean is that you are between zero and 20% somewhere in there. Now, if you have a solid one light, you're between 20 and 40, then we have 40 and 60, 60 and 80, 80 and 100. That's how the lights work. So. This means we should still have a little bit of battery life, but it did cut off at 12 minutes and 19 seconds. Now I'm gonna see if I can get it to run for just a little longer. And if so, we'll go ahead and start that time up. But it is not wanting to run at all. So it is 
dead, dead at 12 minutes, 19 seconds. So it has an advertised time of 14 minutes. Now, one thing that I'd say is we are out here in a barn. It is a bit stuffy. Um, it's about 80 degrees in this barn, but that still shouldn't be too hot to get this battery too warm. Now, this battery is a little bit warm and it was running for a full 12 minutes. So you would expect that. Now, one thing also to talk about here is whenever we are going to charge this battery, there is going to be an LED light here on the charger. Now on the charger, whenever you plug this battery in, if the battery is too hot or too cold and will not charge, this light will glow red. Now, when the battery is charging, this will glow green or it'll flash green. And then once it is solid green, then it should be fully charged. So just make sure that whenever you're putting this on, if you see red on your light, that does not mean that the battery is dead and it's charging. It means that it's too hot. So you need to make sure and take this out, go put it in a cool space and then put it back in the charger. So like I said before, we've got our carrying case. Last thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and pack this thing up show how it all fits nice and tidy in there so i'm just going to go ahead and start here with the charger then we'll go ahead and go in with our unit two attachments we've got our pipe and our hose our battery and then if you need to take the operator manual manual with you you can go ahead and put that in there too and then it's going to have this nice pull tight clamp here with a handle. So that guys is the complete overview of the steel SEA 20 handheld vacuum. Nice little unit, definitely something that if you are looking for a gift for somebody, or if you are looking for something to keep around the house, that's quick, easy to grab, clean up those small messes or around the shop. Like we are here, this is going to be a great tool to have on hand. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. And if you did, we says you'd hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are looking for for any John Deere parts at all, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.